Electrical work should only be performed by licensed professionals. Alrighty, let's jump right into this. So the first thing we're going to do is, after you take your cover off of course, is we are going to unscrew the four screws that are holding in my two light switches. Once you're done doing that, we're going to go ahead and pull the two switches out from the wall, that way we can get to all the wires. So what I'm doing here now is I like to use these little push-in connectors. So I like to use those instead of wire nuts. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm making a wire to go from the existing neutrals in the wall to my push-in fittings, which I will then use on these switches. And remember, these switches do need a neutral, and the standard switches in your wall do not. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the hot or line side, which is the black wire. Same exact thing, just making myself a uh, little jumper wire to go from the existing wire nut in the wall to my little pushing connectors. But the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get off the um, the existing hot wire that was already there that connected the two switches to the line voltage. Now that I've done that, I'm putting this wire nut on there, just as I said, to connect my um, push connector fitting for ease of use later. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the terminals from the light switches, or for the first light switch. And now from the second light switch. That was the hot wire I just removed. Now what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up the... Um, I'm cutting a new end. It's easier to do that instead of trying to bend it and clean it up. Then I'm going to go ahead and unbox this Casa HS200, if I believe, light switch, if I remember correctly. And you see it comes with four wires, a green, a white, and two blacks. The green is the ground, the white is the neutral, and one black is the line and one is the load. So one is where it connects to the wall, and one goes to the actual light or socket or whatever you have yourself. And I always use the last one for the load, that's just what I do. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect the hot, and go ahead and connect the neutral. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the load wire from the existing um, switch as well as the ground. Do the same thing I did before. I'm going to go ahead and cut and restrip. Kind of pull it through here. The wires are getting kind of tangled. And I'm going to go ahead and do that here in a second too. I'm going to go ahead and untangle all the wires. That way they go back into the wall a little bit easier here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and stuff the wires back in the junction box that we're not using anymore. And then now we're going to repeat the process from the first switch. We're just going to connect everything up. Dun, 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 dun. Then now we're just going to push everything back into the junction box because we are done with all the wires. Now it's time to go ahead and screw our switch on. And we're going to go ahead and secure both of them to the junction box. And then now you're going to kind of adjust and move them around so that way your wall plate fits on there, right? All right, now switch to your phone, and we're going to go to the CASA app and then add. We're going to click device. We're going to select the smart switches, and then we're going to select the first one, which is HS200. 
And it's gonna ask you if you're already installed, and we are. So yep, ours are orange and green. And now we're gonna to flip to our settings, go to Wi-Fi, and we're gonna find that switch. And you see right there, it says the A540, the TP-Link. So we're gonna select that one. Now we're gonna switch back to Casa and we're gonna let it connect or select I'm already connected. Now you're gonna select the 2.4 gigahertz band Wi-Fi network that you want your switch to be on. And you can see right here I sped this up because it takes it a minute. Now name it however you want. I generally name my lights and stuff 1FB1, which usually means you know first floor bedroom one, you know, first floor bedroom two, whatever. And I just do that because that's just the way I do it. And then in Home Assistant on the front end, I then rename them to whatever they actually are. So now we are going to let it go ahead and update. And I'll speed this up as well. We're going to go and add another device. And we're going to repeat the same process. So let's go ahead and skip through that. Ta-da! Update complete. Now we're going to assign some static IP addresses. And this is important in Home Assistant because Home Assistant is looking at an IP address to connect to this light switch. So I have PF Sense, you know, it's whatever your router has, whatever you use. And all I'm doing here is I'm flipping back and forth to see where I should assign it to. Now right here, I'm going to locate the switch. And it is right here, the 20.8. So I'm going to hit Add New. And then I'm going to go ahead and name, I mean, assign it to the address that I found. And now we're going to go ahead and name it. This part's for administrative purposes only. And we're going to hit save, and then apply. Yep, now we're going to go and do the next one. So hit the add. I'm going to flip back and figure out where I want to put it. And I'm going to put it right there between the 118 and 120. So it'll be 119. And the same thing right here. This is just a descriptive, um, a description for administrative purposes only. It doesn't do anything the assignment cool and then now we got this and then now I'm going to physically go over to the cost of switches and I'll go ahead and um, flip them both that way they restart with the button on the bottom left and then now we're going to go ahead and add them to home assistant let's just simply go to settings devices and services we're going to click on the TP link cost as you can see I already have several and then we're going to copy and paste those IP addresses that um, we just assigned them to then you're going to put them wherever area they go in. And in my case, just like I said, first floor bedroom two, finish. And then I'm going to flip back and I'm going to copy the other one, which is the 119. Then I'm going to do the same thing. Add entry, paste, backspace the little space it adds. Then same thing, first floor bedroom two, finish. And then now what I'm going to do is, this is the part where I was talking about where I renamed them. And um, I'm actually going to change the type. So this is a fan. So my name is, a, I'm going to switch to a fan. And then now I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to call this, you know, Able Ceiling Fan. And then now we're going to go do the same thing with the uh, ceiling light. I'm going to switch it to the type light. And then I'm going to. Rename it just like we just did. And then I'm going to change the icon. But that pretty much about wraps it up. I hope this helps somebody and shows everyone how easy it is to use Casa and Home Assistant. Thanks.